Hello and help. I have a Honeywell thermostat, 32,207,502 to 001 Reverend A. This past week the LCD display has been going out intermittently, and the buttons have no effect, for example, I can't turn the fan on and off with the fan button, when the display is out. However, it's not intermittent anymore, now the thermostat seems to be out for good, the last settings were to have the heat system on. Right now, the fan is running constantly. The furnace itself appears to be getting a signal from the thermostat, since I can hear the gas slash flames start, however, they run for a minute, and then stop. And then a minute later, the gas fires up again for another minute, then stops again, like the furnace is stuck cycling through the preheat phase, but never gets around to blowing the heat inside. I don't know where this thermostat gets its power, from the furnace? Any guidance would be greatly appreciated. I have a feeling I need to change the thermostat. But it would probably be simpler, or cheaper, if I just had to change a fuse somewhere. 23 degrees outside tonight, and getting a little chilly in here. Thanks for any help. P. S. Just as I was submitting this question, the furnace stayed lit long enough to actually switch on and start blowing warm air into the house, and sure enough, when I checked the thermostat, it was on and responsive. But obviously my problem remains. Hi, I am R. G, sorry you're having trouble today, I will do my best to assist you in resolving your issue. Give me a minute to locate a manual for your stat. Thanks. I need you to remove front of thermostat and look on back of face plate there should be a model number there. Also while you have it apart tell me if there is a wire connected to the C terminal and if your stat is batteries. How does the front come off? Pry it. Slide it. On most they just pull apart at the seam. Okay, I'll be right back. Should be a model number that starts with a letter T, TH, RTH, C, or CT. Sorry for delay. Had to go turn off breakers. Headed to hallway now to try to get faceplate off. No problem. Okay. T8600 D2028, I think. If it has batteries I would replace them to start with and if it has a wire connected to C-terminal check for loose connection. Okay let me try to find manual again. And no batteries. The faceplate comes completely off, so the wire terminals are on the baseplate. None are labeled as C, there's a G, B, Y, W, R, C, and R. Okay does it say Chronotherm 111 on front and have a door that folds down to access controls? Wire was loose between RC and R, on the R end. Tighten that. I done. I don't see Chronotherm 111, but there is a due to access controls. Door. Only thing on the front of the door is Honeywell, and an Energy Star sticker. Okay R is 24 volts to stat but if it wasn't making contact unit shouldn't keep running. Is there a wire hook to the O or B terminal or both? There's a green wire going to G. There's a yellow wire to Y. A white wire to W. 
Nothing on O or B. There's a red wire going to R. And. Dot A short red wire connecting RC to R. That one was loose on the R terminal. The reedy wire coming from the wall to R was not loose. Red wire. HTTPS colon slash customer dot honeywell dot com slash resources slash techlet slash techlet documents slash sixty nine oh 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 slash sixty nine two oh three three eight dot pdf. Go to link above and make sure this is your thermostat. You should have batteries in it since there is no common wire. If this is it look at page 33, I think that's where it tells how to change batteries. Let me know if this isn't it. And I will look for another manual but all thermostats without batteries have to have a common wire and yours doesn't seem to have one. Nope. Mine looks like this http colon slash www.marindustrial.com slash cart slash images slash detailed slash img underscore 9272.jpg http colon slash t2.gstatic.com slash images q equals tbn and 9 gcqnk dc 4 d one cmc 8 by sec 7 x of 57 quisp 2 k 88 xt 6 x fax 2 Note the little prongs on two of the corners of the base plate. Those correspond with female plugs on the face plate, so that's probably how the power gets to it. One minute having trouble pulling that up. Note, mine doesn't say troll attempt on the front, however. You're right, one of those pages is being bothersome. I actually found the pic by doing an image search on Google for 32,207,502 Honeywell. The image shows the faceplate and the baseplate together. It was one of the first images. Okay I'll try that. I see the photo but I can't find a manual anywhere that matches it. I know you are looking at it and if you say it has no batteries I'm not sure how it works. On all 24V thermostats they have to have a common to work which is normally a C terminal unless they run off batteries. Like AAA or AAA batteries? I can opt out and your question will go back to top of the list and hopefully someone else is available that will have more information on your stat. Yes AA or AAA? Yes there's no compartment for those anywhere. Do you suppose the C terminal is the one marked as RC? Okay sorry I couldn't help I will opt out to give others a chance to help you. It's only connected by a jumper from the R terminal. Okay, thanks for looking RG. No R and RC are supposed to be connected. Will they see this chat? Yes, they can read our conversation. Okay. I'm gonna go grab a coat and come coffee. Lol. Have a good night. Okay, hopefully someone will be with you soon. You can put a jumper from R to W and turn power on this will bypass thermostat and make heat come on but don't forget it because it won't cut off until you turn power off but you could let it run long anew to heat up house and shut it off. Good luck! Hey, wire back, hang on a second. Hey, you're back. Well, I went ahead and switched breakers back on hoping the tightened wire would fix it. But. I just noticed the LCD went out again anyway. Well, if anyone sees this. 
It might be a chronotherm 4 plus, even though it doesn't say so. HTTP colon slash www.amazon.com slash Honeywell T8600D 2028 Chronotherm Programmable Thermostat slash DP slash B000A3WS8Y However, mine is not equipped for batteries. By the way, here is a very similar incident, HTTP colon slash www.justanswer.com slash HVAC slash 51 RPD LCD Honeywell Thermostat Chronotherm 4 Plus goes dot HTML as I noted earlier, I can hear my furnace ignite, but it stops after a minute. The furnace has power. So I'm going to start moving stuff out of the way so I can get the furnace closet open and check for the circuit board. Not many hear this early but someone should be with you before too long. Russ here. Do you still need help? Yep, sure do. Can you get to Furnace, Russ? If you can get to Furnace, open access panel and you will see Furnace board. Take a small wire and jumper from our row W and see if Funus fires and runs, if it starts and run okay the problem is that stat. Russ. Hi, sorry I was away. I won't be able to proceed with this until later this morning. I'll leave the chat session open and will post when I am able. Thanks. XXXXXXXXXXX sorry for the inconvenience. No problem just respond back, Russ. Hi, Russ, I'm back. Thanks for your patience. Last time that stat was on I set the heat to a low temp so the furnace wouldn't come on on its own for a while. But I haven't turned off any breakers or anything. I've now got the furnace panel off and have found the R, G, and W terminals on the board. So, I'm just going to touch the R and W on the board and see if the furnace kicks in? Okay let me know how it runs, Russ. At last, I got it tested. Jumping R and W kicked the furnace on. So this means that stat is the problem. Yes thermostat is problem, Russ. As I mentioned in an earlier post, it may be a chronotherm 4 or 4 plus. I'm not sure what to do next. Nothing you can do but replace thermostat. Honeywell Vision Pro 8000 is best replacement. Russ. And that's pretty straightforward, match up the wires the same way as on the old thermostat? My current thermostat doesn't seem to employ a common, or C, wire. The 8000 is battery operated. If you have an extra wire at thermostat you can connect it at C on furnace board and C on thermostat. Any problems just get back to me and I will walk you through it. 8000 works on 24 volts or battery. Russ. Very easy replacement. Just wire per wire. If I have helped please press accept. You can get back to me for any follow up questions. Russ Gottman for AC41336.229411586. Okay, I'll let you know. Russ, for tonight, I put the jumper back in place on the furnace so I can run the heat until the house warms back up to an acceptable level. The burners ignite for a minute, and then the fan just keeps blowing for about 5 minutes while the, small amount of, Heat blows into the house, then the burners ignite for another minute, then the fan keeps blowing another 5, etc. 
This is the same behavior the furnace did when the thermostat would die. Is this normal, given that the thermostat is now being ignored completely? Have you dot checked filters? When this happens check the light and board for diagnostic. Count flash and let me know. Russ After posting, I did check the filter thinking that there might be an overheating in the system from lack of airflow. Our system only has the intake filter inside the house, no filters in actual furnace. It was so dirty I couldn't see a bright light bulb through it. When I replaced it, the furnace ran normally. Plus, I let the thermostat control everything rather than using the jumper on the furnace board. And so far it seems the thermostat, too, is on good behavior. Any thoughts on whether overheating from lack of airflow could affect components on the board such that the thermostat gets affected? Anyhow, I'll keep an eye on thermostat today, see if stays on. I did not know there is a diagnostic light on the board. After check-in manual When furnace overheats, lid opens and fan runs, flame goes off. Power to stat is broken. You are good to go. Great work. Russ. Okay, that makes sense. In overheat situation, the flame shuts off and the blower goes on. But it also cuts off power to the thermostat? I guess that would prevent a conflict between thermostat instructions and the cool-down process. Interestingly, when my thermostat would come back on, it would remember the previous settings, so even though there's no consumer-installed batteries, it must have an onboard battery like a CMOS battery in a computer, which holds dates and other settings even when the unit is off. Thanks for the trick with the jumper. And next time I'll know to check the filter first. On edit, Russ, I went to submit a rating, but it seems to have applied to the first HVAC expert helping me on this question. Not sure what to do about that. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.